Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. The file that we'll be uh, dealing with today is the bed evaluation, which is related to a merger and acquisition analysis, uh, which appears in level 2 under the corporate finance section. Uh, the whole uh, reading about the whole analysis of how to use bed evaluation is available on the website, and the link to the reading is also available below the video. But we'll just show you a quick overview of how to use this, uh, of how this method works in order to evaluate uh, mergers and acquisitions before using the Excel sheet. So in particular, there are three formulas here that we care about, which is the gain for the target, the gain for the acquirer, and the post-merger value. The target, what he gains actually is the premium, which is the difference between the price that's being paid to acquire the company to, to, for, his, for the target to be acquired, and the pre-merger value. The acquirer's gain, on the other hand, is the difference between the synergies that are being made from the uh, merger and the premium that, he, that they paid to the target. The post-merger value for the acquirer, which is the only company that exists after acquisition, is the pre-merger value of the acquirer plus the pre-merger value of the target plus the synergies that been made minus any cash that was made. If you look at the example here, in order to use it for the Excel sheet, uh, we'll see that given an expected synergy of 90 million and the following options are available. Uh, to just to mention here, there are more than one option that uh, a acquirer can have in order to acquire uh, another company. This includes a mix between either a cash offer or a stock offer or something that falls in between, uh, having uh, what's called a mixed offer, offering some cash and then another uh, stocks uh, for the remaining that wasn't offered by cash. So in this case, we're analyzing three cases. The cash offer, the first option is the cash offer of $12 per share. The second option is the stock offer of 0 0.8 shares, which is the ratio of A stock per share of T stock. The third option includes a mix of $6 and 0 0.4 shares of A stock per share of T stock. We have information over here regarding the uh, acquirer and the target pre-merger stock price and outstanding shares. And we have been asked to find the premium, the post-merger value, the acquirer gain, and the post-merger price. If we go to the file over here, and as usual, you should always enable the content in order to enable to view the macro. And we'll just answer the information that we have over here we have for the acquirer a pre a stack price of 15 and the shares to be 75 in millions but it's going to be assumed by default and then if we uh, enter for the target stack price of 10 and shares of 30 which means the market value is 300 millions right now and if that's correct yes and then the expected energies uh, were 90 and we'll evaluate all each of the three methods that we have. So first of all, we will choose a cash offer, and we'll have to enter. All that we have to do is to enter over here a cash offer of twelve, and we have the information over here. No number of stocks or number of stocks issued by acquirer is not available, which makes sense because it's an entirely cash offer. We have the post merger value of acquirer, the post merger price of the acquirer, the total price paid for the target and the premium paid for the target, which is the difference between the total price and the pre value. And this is the acquirer's gain, which is the difference between the synergies and the premium that was paid. If we have if we want to evaluate the stock offer, all we have to do to is to change the number here to an exchange ratio of zero point eight. And we have the new results over here. And finally, if we would like to have a mixed offer, we select the mixed offer. And we enter a cash of $6 and an exchange ratio of 0 0.4. And here we go. We have a summary of the results as well. That's pretty much it about the bid evaluation. If you have any questions, please make sure to email me at my website, at my email on the website, and to subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget also to follow us on our website to get posted, uh, to get notified about each new post that's uh, available. And don't forget to follow us on our social networks, our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.